Enjoy this segment from Dogs of Destiny. All right, Lady Baker. Kaylee is full of glitter. Perfect. She has a heart as big as a rainbow. She's very timid and shy around new people. That's not edible And I think she's a little fragile okay. just because life has been a little tough to her. I was married to a very wonderful man, Terrence Hinton. Terrence was in the Army. He deployed. He saw a lot of things in deployments that he couldn't unsee. Afghanistan changed him a little bit. Then we had Kaylee, and something about a soldier and his little girl. Um, Terrence found comfort in her, and when they were together, it was like the place that he got to go that was safe, and nothing was going to hurt him there. She was his safe place, his companion, his quiet, his love. <laughs> yeah. Moving to Hawaii was like a dream come true for us. You don't think for even a moment about training or war or deployment or death. Every direction you look, it's beautiful and it's serene and everybody for the most part is kind and loving. Terrence was on the big island training with his unit for an upcoming deployment and um, Terrence was in a motor vehicle accident. They suffered brake failure and sent the vehicle into a barrel roll over the side of the cliff. And when the vehicle landed, Terrence was trapped underneath and he was killed instantly. I actually received a phone call from my sister-in-law, Monika, and she was screaming into the phone that her brother had died. I was just trying to wrap my mind around why she was saying this, what was going on. I, I knew at that moment I had to go home. I'll know when we turn the corner because the military doesn't leave until they get a hold of you. So getting closer to the house and we turn the corner and I I saw them and they they were at my house and I remember they were holding this little white piece of paper and they started with the Department of the Army regrets to inform you. And then they said my my husband's name and I just I left this earth like my body was here but like every feeling in me was like I was floating like I wasn't even there. It was just the worst moment ever. I I lost everything. Trying to get Kaylee at five to, to understand the finality of death, that, ooh, that sucked. Kaylee slipped into a depression. She was just so withdrawn. She was afraid to leave the house. She had separation anxiety. She didn't want me to go anywhere. When we got down to Florida, it was supposed to be a new chapter for us, you know, meeting new people and meeting new friends. And I asked Kaylee, you know, why aren't you connecting with these kids? She says, well, do they know everything I love leaves or something happens to everything that loves me? And I, I just, my heart broke for her because I, I learned in that moment that she was looking for love, but she was afraid because love always leaves. And sorry. I didn't know what to do for Kaylee. I didn't know how to make her happy again. So I was scrolling through Facebook one day and I came across a post from another Gold Star family of a little boy named Talon and his Gold Star companion dog, Hope. And I had no idea that Southeastern Guide Dogs ran a program for Gold Star Families, I immediately 
started Googling, went to Southeastern Guide Dogs Facebook page, and I started reading everything I could. And I said, you know what? It was like meant to be, it was fate. And it was in that moment that I just felt like the magic starting to happen. The placement was perfect. They found the perfect dog for us. The first time I met Taylor, it was like, I was so happy, like, oh my goodness, I have a new dog, yes! I mean, I immediately wanted to play with her, cuddle her, everything. The feelings had a temperature. It was very warm and very loving, and I, I, I got misty-eyed just watching them because Kaylee gave her heart immediately. They hugged for so long, Taylor didn't pull away, she didn't run away, she didn't show interest in anything else. It's like Taylor knew Kaylee's heart needed some help and that's why she was here. And I just, I could relive that moment every day. It was beautiful. Taylor! T. Taylor is a goofball. Drink the tea. Properly. She's so silly. She never runs out of energy. She can switch from playtime right back to snuggle time, and she's just perfect. You want to cut out some dog bones? Yay. Taylor has brought Kaylee back to me. She's taught Kaylee to trust again, but most importantly, she taught Kaylee that it's safe to love again. So the thing that they do the most, you can't even see, they love. My hope is that one day she wakes up and even if the, her dad is the first thought on her mind, that it isn't one that makes her cry. My hope is that Kaylee will continue to love and feel the safety that love gives you. And I just hope that when she sees other people, she sees them for all the good that they are because we could have never been in this situation without generous people that we don't even know. Her tail's back here, B. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't given us a dog. You gave me my daughter back because I lost my husband and Kaylee wanted to go with him. She just didn't, she didn't want to be here anymore. And now she looks forward to everything. Belly. Belly. <laughs> These dogs are changing lives. They are giving lives back. They are helping people, children, my daughter to feel like life is worth living again. I can't thank you enough. Like, I, there's no words that I can sit here and come up with that are ever gonna be good enough. There's multiple times every day that I thank you and I will never ever stop, so thank you a million times for the next million years. <laughs>